Hey babes, I'm back with another YouTube video and today I'm going to be showing you guys how I like to achieve my 3D flowers. And I'm also going to show you guys how I pick up my beads. Now I did a 3D flower video before but I never really showed you guys my brush when I'm actually working. So that's what I'm going to do today. So I have these display nail sticks from my local nail supply store. You can also get them from Amazon and I got this McCart rhinestone glue for the jewelry. I'm gonna take my stone, I'm going to replace it, and I'm gonna let this cure in a lamp for 60 seconds. So when you're picking up your beads for your flowers, just as if it was a regular application, you still want that bead to be smooth and glossy. You guys see that I was kind of tapping it to speed it up, but you still want the bead to be smooth and glossy so that when you place it you don't have to worry about it getting stuck to the brush it running away or it just not doing anything because it's too dry well, the ratio i'm going to use for the 3d flowers is going to be super similar to any you know acrylic ratio so first i'm going to go into my monomer i'm going to wipe the side of my brush very lightly two times at a medium angle i'm going to go into my powder twice so one two so now we have our bead. So like I said, I am gonna kind of tap this on the side so that it will hurry up. Cause right now it's still kind of like, you guys probably can't see it too well cause it's white, but it's still a little lumpy. I'm just gonna tap it until it gets glossy. I'm going to lightly place this on top first. So I either start at the bottom or the top first. Don't start at the side first cause the flower, mm -mm, I just don't like that. After lightly placing this bead, I am going to make sure that the brush is pointy before I go back and start to apply pressure to the center of the bead. So when you're doing this, you're going to point towards the diamond, but you still want to make sure that you're getting that petal a little wide. So I'm just going to start to press down. If your bead is too wet, you will start to see the petal kind of come up and lose its definition so if that happens that's fine you just want to take your brush and go right back to the center so that you can make it look like a petal again for this next bead i'll be using the same method after wiping my brush two times i'm going to lightly go into the powder twice i'm going to make sure that my bead is glossy and then lightly start to dry this out now i'm going to lightly place this bead close to the last one but not too close because when i start to press this down it's going to start to spread so remember i like my brush to be pointy before i start to press this down and, and now i'm creating the second petal I'm actually using more monomer than I should because sometimes it takes a really long time for it to get glossy. So that's why I go back in and make sure that I really dry it out because I already started off with a lot of monomer. This one is too. I still want it to be super fit. I'm very careful when I'm doing this one. So we'll come over here. Same thing, I start to press down. Place my last one right there. If you need to kind of stick around, you sure can. You can't do this on a client, but for practice, you can. Make sure it's nice and pointy. And once again, I'm going to start to press down. Next, I'll be doing a larger flower for this practice nail stick. And I do get my crystals from Blue Street Crystals. And this is their Serenity Crystals. And so this time for the 
top and bottom petal i do want a larger bead so i'm just gonna wipe once and i'm gonna do one two see the difference from when you wipe once and when you wipe twice so make sure this is dry y'all because you don't want it to spread after placing this bead just like before you do want to make sure you just go back into your monomer get the brush a little pointy and then i'm going to start to create my petal after i'm actually going to do a little something extra and i'm going to drag the edge of the bead out so i can kind of make the petal look a little different from the other ones I'm doing that here and I'm just using the tip of my brush to start to pull the petal out and then I'm going to use the tip of my brush once again to start to pull those sides inward. So now we're going to do the sides. I like to start with the first bead, which is going to be in the middle. So we'll do one, two. Make sure you get this nice and flat. We'll do one, two. And one, two. Until it gets nice and glossy. And I'm going to dry it out. Place this one right here. Now it looks like it's too big for the nail, but I don't mind if a little piece of the three flower is kind of hanging off. But so that we don't make this too big, I'm just gonna focus on pressing this back. And for the other two sides, we can do one, two, three. One, two. Dry it out.
So I'm gonna do one, two. Cause I kinda want these beads to be big. Cause I seen someone do this and I thought it was super cute. Now we're gonna come over here and press, press, press. One, two, three, and one, two. Cause I want this one to be smaller. Now I ain't never do this flower before, but I seen it and I thought it was cute. So I'm hoping we get somewhat the same result. Let's do four wipes. One, two, three, four. One, two. Placing it right in the center. It's kind of cute. So I'm not really pressing too far back. Because I don't really want the bead too spread. So that's what that's looking like.
Okay, so I had a little idea. So we're gonna see how this comes out. So I want to do a big one at the top. So we're gonna do another one. We're gonna do a few, so you guys can have some ideas to go and practice. And listen to this, if you guys recreate any of these nails or all of these nails, tag me on Instagram so I can share your page and then go ahead and share some of your work. I do it all the time, especially when people tag me and stuff that they recreated of mine. I have no problem with sharing other people's work.
So this flower is similar to the second one, but instead of using the big nail stone, I decided to use three small ones and I also had a gold piece in there. So I really do hope that this video helped you guys, of course, with your 3D flowers. Like I said, y'all, it's spring, summertime is coming. You'll definitely wanna add this add-on to your client's nails and you'll wanna have this available for them. If you did enjoy this YouTube video, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe so I can get my YouTube videos out to more beginners and more advanced nail techs just like you. So I'm going to see you guys in the next video. And like I said, if you do any of these nail designs, feel free to tag my Instagram at nailedbytabarbie.